Welcome back to Everyday Iowa. A full dais, if you will. It opened up this past weekend. You have one more chance to see it, and that chance is this weekend. We are not joined by not one, not two, but three members of the Iowa City Community Theater. I'm just going to let them go down the line. We're going to start on the far end and work our way back. Hi, Scott Hughes. Brian Tanner. Josh Sazan. Thank you guys for being here this morning. Inherit the Wind is the program we're talking about. Uh, Josh, I'm going to start with you because you're, you're kind of the, the guy that keeps everybody in line. At least that's what the other two told me. Oh, hello. Tell me a little bit about <laughs> this show, and then we're going to get through some of the themes of it. But this is a very unique but worthwhile show that somebody needs to add to their calendar this weekend if they didn't see it this past weekend. Oh, certainly. It is a show that came out first on Broadway in 1955, and it was made into a movie in 1960. It is basically a dramatization, um, a fictionalized dramatization of what was called the Trial of the Century. This came out uh, in the mid-1920s. It was called the Scopes Trial. Mm -hmm. And it happened in Tennessee. And it was a, uh, a trial about a, a teacher who was uh, accused of breaking a law by teaching evolution in the, uh, the school system. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, yeah, the Scopes Monkey Trial from 1925. Um, yeah, and so it's, it's not a dramatization of that, but it used the real characters mm -hmm. or real people to um, translate into these characters. So Josh plays uh, Henry Drummond, which is based on the, now it is Hitch Clarence Darrow. Clarence Darrow. Okay, and, okay. Um, and, and Scott plays Henry... Uh, Matthew Harrison <laughs> Brady. Harrison Ford. Uh, Brady. Brady. Uh, <laughs> Matthew Harrison Ford. That'd be a good one. Yes. <laughs> Matthew Harrison Brady, William Jennings Bryan mm -hmm. is, is the... How, how do you take yes. such well-known <laughs> literature? I mean, this was mm -hmm. obviously a well-known piece and a well-known story about this piece and mm -hmm. bring it to life in a short amount of time. Yes, yeah, we, we definitely um, were able to pull it off within two months, <laughs> which mm -hmm. is, it seems like a long time, but it is very short once you put everything together. Um, but yeah, the, the, the overall vision that I had was to really integrate the audience into the courtroom mm -hmm. uh, so that you kind of feel like you're, observing as a spectator within the, the courtroom watching this going on. Um, and the town itself is a character, so they're always present. You always see the bat drops of the uh, storefronts and, and everything. Um, so they're always present as much as the court in cases on the minds of these people. And I want to come back to mm -hmm. that because the space in which you're doing this in is mm -hmm. phenomenal too, which we'll talk about. Scott, I want sure. to talk to you about bringing these characters to life because again it's it's heavy subject matter and you have a short amount of time to do it and still make it believable and you know how do you do that well that's the key that's the key of all theater i think i think my personal opinion is that you take the the script the words on the page and you make them sound as if you just thought them up as you're there mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. front of the audience and uh, there's a challenge to that but i really enjoy that and the way that matthew harrison brady is written just the way the words are written makes it really kind of easy to be this bombastic orator. I mean, he ran for president. He was uh, a populist. He was uh, uh, a leader of the common people, so to mm -hmm. speak. And he comes into town as a hero. Mm -hmm. And uh, things eventually yeah. don't work out so well for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, spoiler. <laughs> spoiler alert. Yeah, but it's but just the words on the page, the way it's <laughs> written, makes yes, it really yeah. easy to, to create a character from that. Tell and me a little bit about transforming basically a building on the Johnson County Fairgrounds into this town, into this courtroom. That itself has to be a show. Yes, yes, we had some very um, experienced um, designers. Uh, we had Steve Miller and, and Jared Ivanovich um, that uh, co-designed this set and built it, uh, along with Rich LeMay. Um, they were instrumental in putting everything together, and it, it far exceeded my expectations uh -huh. uh, when I originally uh, was trying to conceive how we were going to do it all. Um, but yeah, it, it takes a lot of um, you know, blood, sweat, and tears yeah. <laughs> to get through it all. Because in the summertime, evenings. that's a building you walk around and you see the fair, and now yes. it's transformed into this, and it's got to be mm -hmm. fun doing a show in that space too. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very open space. It, it's pretty inviting. It, and one thing about it, it's sort of like a large black box. You can really kind of mm -hmm. do what you want with it. Um, and in this case, we took full advantage of the, of the space and, and brought it out to the audience. Josh, I'm going to ask you why, uh, one weekend in, 
you got a whole nother weekend coming up. Why sure. should people come see it? Because the uh, the subject matter is timely. Um, as of uh, fairly recently, the last couple of decades, you still have people being brought up in court on charges for teaching evolution in the schools. Mm -hmm. But more than that, it is also, it touches on the freedom to think, the freedom to actually not have to go uh, the, the way of the rest of the community. And that, I think, is very much in danger these days mm -hmm. and uh, the other hand of that it's also a very entertaining show mm -hmm. um, just to, just to uh, press the point that it is not just a message play that mm -hmm. everyone will be uh, uplifted at the end of mm -hmm. it no it's, it's, it's actually entertaining it's very humorous mm -hmm. and to actually do this show with people around that is also the magic of theater you mm -hmm tend to react to how the, the uh, how the audience is reacting to whatever is going on. And that is the pleasure of doing the show, I think. 15 mm -hmm. seconds left, Brian. Give me uh, how people can get tickets, when, and all that good uh, stuff. Iowa City Community Theater org with an R-E on the theater. Yeah, theater. Theater. Yes. The, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. There you go. Well, thank you guys for coming in. I know it's a, it's a hectic week. It's the final <laughs> week. I appreciate you making time for us. Go see them this weekend. We'll put all the details on our website at kcrg.com.